Hey everybody, this is Sam King Davis, host of Famous When I'm Dead. And today I want to take you through my polygram drawing process. Uh, we're going to do that today with Dave Chappelle. So what I do is I start by collecting references. You can see on the side here, I, I just collage them on the side of the page. And then I start with a basic line sketch. So I'm getting the structure, kind of figuring out where the values are. This is a second sketch, third sketch. I try to keep it really loose and fast as possible through the sketching process. Um, I want to keep that live drawing energy. So here I am, I'm, I'm redoing it. The thing that stands out to me the most in this pose is uh, Dave's uh, mouth expression. He has that expression where he looks to the side and kind of does this sort of half grin. And that's what stands out to me first. And then, of course, he has those big round eyes. So you can see here I'm adjusting the sketch to really exaggerate that mouth expression. But when you exaggerate something that much, you have to take the mass off of another part of the head. So this is called the law of constant mass. And it just basically says that if you remove a lot from one area, you can add a lot to another area. In fact, you have to add a lot to the other area in order to balance out the mass on the head. So I've done that with the mouth. I've taken most of the mass off of the top of his head and put it into his mouth. I've also uh, eliminated his neck pretty much and his chin pretty much in this one. And I've tried to kind of squeeze all of that mass into the lips and the mouth. And what I'm doing right now is the line working process. So I'm trying to keep all straight lines. Uh, Procreate has a feature that automatically snaps the line into a shape or a perfectly straight line. So that's what I'm doing here. I usually start by going around the head. Now I'm collaging some elements from the actual uh, reference into it. I don't like to do that too much. I just do it for a texture. I want, to, want everything to be as original as possible, but you can see here that I've collaged the shirt, the microphone, and the top of his head. But the, uh, the rest of it, the hands, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, all of that stuff will be originally colored and originally textured. Um, this particular type of process um, I've developed over time, over probably a couple of hundred drawings. Um, and I've always put really tight restrictions on myself. Um, the lines have to be the snap to lines. They have to be perfectly curved or perfectly straight. So that's one way uh, I'm able to get that look, that very clean cut kind of look. Also, the other um, rule is that the majority of the drawing has to be color dropped. So each one of these shapes are actually like complete shapes and I'm just color dropping the color in there. I'm not doing any shading or anything like that. You can even see that here with the highlights uh, on the bottom of the top lip. You can see those highlights are also shapes. So there's no real shading going on. It's just me filling in shapes. Except at the very end, which is what you're seeing now, where I'm adding a little bit of texture for the beard or for the five o'clock shadow. And at this point, I'm just making, you know, a hundred little tiny adjustments to try to give it that extra two or three percent. And there it is. So just putting the background in. You can see I added some rim lighting there on his shoulder. Uh, cut off the area of the canvas that had the references. Just touched up some of the shadows, touched up some of the highlights. And... That is my poly drawing process in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.